Bonsoir. We are back now in La France. As you can see, La Water, La France. I don't know how you call it. So, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are visiting bankers. Today is the bankers day. We are visiting two bankers um, in France that were used during the World War. Um, and uh, so I'll be showing you a little bit about the bankers and they're quite interesting. The history is quite interesting. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and see you again the next time. Banker one, Fort de Schonenburg. So this is the entrance to the to the bunker that we visited. The entrance to the bunker that we visited, and we went inside. And I will be showing you a few things in the inside of the bunker. It's really deep. It's like. 30 meters deep underground. It's one of the bunkers from the World War. So yeah. So there are a lot of tunnels in the bunkers, as you can see here. And the best way to experience the bunker is to follow the instructions given at the entrance or you will see them displayed uh, along the way uh, as you walk through the bunker. So guys, we are visiting this uh, bunker from the Second World War, right? Uh, and we are 30 meters under uh, these tunnels. <laughs> Oh, so like scary, but I'm doing it. So first we visited the kitchen. Uh, we saw what was going on there, you know, where they used to cook and stuff, and the food storage area, as you will see. Well, there are displays of advertisements from that era. They were quite exciting and interesting to see and read about. Just stop by and read what's going on there. This is my wine cellar days. This is where I would come after, you know, to have a drink. <laughs> they were drinking those days, guys. After the kitchen, we went to the electricity room where they produce electricity using diesel fueled uh, agents um, there was a lady there who was uh, ready to explain to us how everything worked she also informed us that the machines are well maintained and they are actually still working today and every now and then they test them to make sure that they are still in working order uh, it was really exciting to listen to her tell us how everything was done during those days you know how the electricity was supp supplied to the bunker how much fuel they needed to run the mach the engines uh, machines you know f for producing the electricity and stuff like that so just stop by and listen by yourself these are the barracks this is where the soldiers were sleeping in the mirror there guys <laughs> The small kitchen where they would cook. Guys, this is what I'm getting for my 50th birthday. I'll be typing on this thing. I'll be typing on my life story on this thing. Look at that, guys. So we walked through the barracks to the medical center where the soldiers used to get medical attention when they were sick or when they were injured. They would also, you know, get cleansed there if they were covered by uh, 
covered with poisonous gases there were medical cabinets there showing all kind of medical stuff you know equipment and medicines and uh, it was quite exciting to see the you know the equipment they used from those days quite basic you know stuff but still quite exciting to see walk one kilometer to the next uh, display center you know number three and four and we pass through the train station so to say you know the train that we used underground to transport stuff and there was a lot of displays along there where you could stop and read a little bit until you ended up at the you know at the telephone uh, control center So there's a gallery there with various ammunitions displayed. They are on permanent display, so you can always stop by and see your kind of ammunitions if you're interested in such stuff. I am not so much interested in uh, ammunitions, so we just walked by as quickly as we could to the next uh, level. Walking back. more than a kilometer to a park in this town The next bunker is Four Oshoks Fortress in Lemberg. Next bunker. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, but uh, I'll leave the address uh, and the name of the bunker below but it's just uh, from the other bunker to this bunker it's just about 14 minutes to drive so it's not really far away uh, frankly speaking I liked the other bunker more than this one it was better organized and better maintained and um, yeah well but then there were some features in this bunker that are not in the other bunker so you can't compare both and just go and see for yourself <laughs> 